Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to rip DVDs easily on Ubuntu. And this app runs on Mac OS and also Windows. So it's a multi platform application which you can get over here, like handbreak.fr. You just like, I'll post this link in the description box and you click on download. Yep, and here as you can see 10.5, 10.6, 64 bit. Windows 7 Vista XP and also Ubuntu yeah so let me show you the app so you can see over here it's called handbrake it's a really nice looking app perfectly polished um, it's really easy to use I'll show you what we have over here file source single title destination so if you click on source you can either choose the DVD directly from your drive right uh, your DVD ROM or DVD writer or if your vid video underscore TS folder is somewhere on your hard drive you can click on this and choose the directory if this is video underscore TS then you just specify it it will load it automatically if not if it's neither of this and if you just want to convert the video uh, like a normal video let me say okay let this is the video from YouTube S mp4 I mean like selecting it okay so here this is the video it's a HD video 1280 into 720 and now uh, yeah this is um, this is the destination you just have to specify over here destination it's on my desktop m4v okay I'll go there later Cube. Uh, okay, we have a cube feature, so you can add multiple, and you can add it to cube. You know, add to cube. This project, you add it, add it to cube instead of pressing the start button, and you can go on with another DVD and so on. Show cube. Obviously, here you'll get the cube, uh, like multiple videos with multiple passes. You can check over here. Uh, picture setting, activity window. Anyways, okay, here, this is the source, video two dot mp4 it's approximately 1 minutes 41 seconds so this is like the normal title title number one so if you specify the DVD and if there are like multiple titles you can select over here title 1 title 2 title 3 you know, like chapters and angles right so here this is the source dimension source uh, resolution of the video so we will try to modify it let's click on picture settings and here we'll get a preview window and if you want to crop it you can auto crop or you can crop it yourself like like if I uh, add 9 ok 200 over here check what happens yeah like that so auto crop again ok and if you want to uh, re reduce the resolution click on off and then just like start minimizing it like reducing this okay optimal for reason you can go okay let me say I want to convert it to 640 to 360 from 1280 to 640 here it is you can seek the bar okay you can play the video you can show the crop I mean black bars if it is there hide the settings full screen all that stuff okay and uh, what about else what else what else nothing much okay so this is it um okay I will close this so we have uh, reduced it to 640 to 360 now let's go to video uh, you want to convert it to normal MPEG right FFmpeg you can choose this or if it is x264 you can choose this I don't know why VP3 theory is um, grayed out anyways if it is x264 that you want what happened why is it not okay let's go to bitrate yeah let's go to bitrate and then you'll get like two pass if you choose like bitrate if you want around okay if it's a DVD and if you want to fit into 700 MB then you can choose so you can select target size two pass encoding turbo fast pass first pass if you want it otherwise, otherwise leave it um, frame rate same as source or you can like change it if you want and with audio obviously the audio that it will find if it's an AC3 if the DVD 
if it has AC3 audio then you can select AC3 you can like choose AC3 pass through if not you can choose MP3 verbase or AC it's up to you and subtitles if the DVD has subtitles by default you can just drag the subtitle like click on add new subtitles and it will show you from the list it will show you the list so you can select from the subtitles but if you if you want to add SRTs you downloaded an SRT like text subtitle from some website click on import SRT choose click on file I mean click on this and you choose the SRT right and then it will add it it will embed it in the file so next time when you play it on your VLC or media player classic or M player SM player it will show you the sub uh, subtitles and if you choose H.264 over here we can modify the options like the, the encoder options these are the encoder settings you can change it if you know what you're doing go on if you don't know just don't do anything so um, that's the for X264 and this is for X with FFmpeg MPEG4 video so if you choose FFmpeg it will give you the default settings it won't show you the settings you won't be able to modify anything just go for it uh, here one more thing you have got some presets over here so like for iPod for like regular and normal high profile and stuff like that for iPod and iPhone and iPod touch if you specify it and uh, yeah it will give you the video in the dis desktop right mp4 obviously it will be mp4 iPod 5G support you have got nice supports over here I have tried I haven't tried iPod settings I have only tried these settings and it tried you know playing the video on my sister's 5800 Express Music Symbian 6TV5 smartphone and it worked fine the mp4 it will convert it to m4b right so it runs fine and uh, I guess that's it nothing much to say I have uh, gone beyond limit I know I talk a lot Okay, that's it. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.